Hi, it's Hal from Light with part two of our Monday Night Light video recap talking about the graduated filter. This time, instead of Lightroom, we're going to show the Adobe Camera Raw 5.5 interface. We've done everything that we did before, that is, we've taken care of our universal adjustments, and now we're looking to make specific local adjustments using the graduated filter the tool that gives us the ability to make adjustment to one portion of the image and fade in a linear manner that adjustment from 100 percent down to zero. To use the graduated filter in ACR we're going to click onto the graduated filter icon or hit the keyboard shortcut of G. When we do that the right side of our ACR interface all the tabs are replaced with the graduated filter. To use this, I just want to first show the symbology and then we'll talk about building workflow steps. The first thing we'll do is I'm going to program an overdo with brightness, bring my cursor into the image, now I'm going to click and hold and drag out my graduated filter. Notice the graduated filter in ACR is a little bit different than what we saw in Lightroom in terms of the symbology, but the effect is exactly the same. Here we have a green and white line which is the equivalent of our 100 percent line in Lightroom. Anything above in this linear orientation our green and white line is 100 percent of our programmed effect. Notice we do not have a 50 percent line but we do have our 0 percent line and it is a red and white dashed line. The red and white dashed line or 0 percent anything below that line in this orientation is going to give us 0 percent of our programmed effect. So 100 and 0, and then we transition from 100 to 0 in a nice graduated manner across most of the filter. In terms of control, if we move our cursor over the center line that controls our green, at this point green active control dot, to our red active control dot, we can click and hold with our four pointed arrow and move the entire construct. If I move my cursor up over the 100% line, which is in ACR, green and white, I can change the distance over which the gradient takes effect. The same thing goes for the white and red line down here at the bottom. If I want to rotate, all I need to do is take that cursor and move it a little bit further to the right or left from the center, and then you notice I get the arc with the dual headed arrow, and I can rotate around. Once I've made my adjustment, it's going to become part of the XMP file, and I can get out of the graduated filter by just choosing any of my other tools. Notice the ACR interface goes back to normal. Once I have a graduated filter in place, I can always make adjustments to it again, much like Lightroom, by clicking on graduated filter. Notice here that we, instead of having a single control pin, have two control points denoting where the 100% and 0% of the filter are. By clicking on either of these points it becomes active and then we can make adjustments. Just as in Lightroom, to delete this, hit the delete key with the graduated filter active and it's going to go away. So let's build the workflow much like we would do going through and optimizing this image. Normally my workflow universal changes first that is working my way through the toolbar and the tabs here left to right until I need to get local. In this case I've got to get local here to fix the sky so I'm going to do so by grabbing the graduated filter, making sure that I have new selected, and then I like to program the graduated filter by clicking on either the plus or minus associated with what characteristic I want to impart to the image. In this case it's brightness. I'm going to click minus overdo it, notice I'm already there at minus 200, I overdo it just so I can see a little more easily where the graduated filter is going to be placed. Bring the cursor into the image, I'll click and drag it down. Much like in Lightroom this is a little bit squirrely in terms of angular rotation here, so if I want to limit myself I can just hold down the shift key and it gives me a little better control over running out my graduated filter and keeping it along the axis that I've already chosen. Once you have your filter in place, release your mouse and then the shift key with the next workflow step of going back and fine tuning whatever your programmed effect was to make it a little bit better. I'll leave my brightness at roughly minus 61. If I wanted to see a before and after, I go up to the preview button and toggle it on and off. 
to see what exactly it is that I've done. Now I also have the ability, if I wanted to, I could click the show overlay down here at the bottom right, or use the keyboard shortcut of V for overlay visibility, and that could hide my symbology. I could hide the symbology, and then click on to preview or hit the keyboard shortcut of P to toggle the effect on and off. Much like we did in the Lightroom demo, you can add more graduated filters if you choose to. Workflow steps, figure out what you need to do. You're already in the graduated filter. Click on to new, and then program. In this case, we're going to make brightness. I'll click plus. It sets it to a default of plus 25. I'm going to overdo it, bring my filter into the image, and now position it appropriately. After I've positioned, it's time to fine tune. And we're going to dial this effect back considerably until it adds just a little bit. Our workflow steps here, after you make a change, always take a look at the preview to see if you like what you've done. We could take this further just like we did in our Lightroom demo by clicking onto New, hitting one of the plus or minuses next to Color, and let's go in and add that gold to the hills by going into our Color Picker. We could select any hue saturation combination by toggling around the color picker itself, or we could grab a specific hue and then modify the saturation with the slider. I'll grab one of the presets, hit OK, and now run out my graduated filter just like we did before. With the filter in place, it's time to fine tune, so click onto the color swatch, and now I'm going to run my saturation down until it looks a little more soft and subtle. Hit an OK. I have my three graduated filter effects. I will remove the show over or hit show overlay so the symbology is gone. And then I'll toggle the preview on and off to see the before and after. When you're finished with the graduated filter, to get back into your regular ACR interface, all we need to do is hit one of the other tools. I always like to hit the hand tool because there's nothing I can damage or change in the image when I have the hand tool selected. So that is the graduated filter in ACR. Hopefully you can join me next Monday when we take a look at the adjustment brush in Lightroom as well as Adobe Camera Raw. Have a great day.